This is the final result of the newsletter generator that we started to build in the previous video. We can now add any website's blog page to this list. Select a date range, hit batch scrape plus AI and get all the articles in this card. Now we also have a score in these cards that measure how close the news is to our initial brand context inserted up here. To make sure we're not wasting any Faircall tokens, we'll only actually scrape the full article down in the structure button. After that's clicked, we receive a detailed summary of the article. And after all the news is gathered, we can then click the generate newsletter button to get the final newsletter. Honestly, this started off as a project that I needed to build for myself and since there's a lot of misinformation out there about how you can actually build an entire project just by vibe coding it out, just by asking the AI to build whatever you have in your mind, and then it'll just do it for you. And that's it. You just need to place a subscription model and reach 100K MRR. Because of that, I thought it would be interesting to show an actual project, even though this project isn't one that I'm going to create a membership out of it or anything, but I will make this available for free open sourced and hooking it up with an authentication or a payment gateway is pretty much a few hours or maybe two days of work. This is the exact steps I took to build the final result of this newsletter generator. So let's go through the step by step because just understanding how you can actually scrape something, send it over to an LM, use whatever was scraped, bring it back, use another uh, link or some sort to scrape something else is something you can do for a lot of projects. This is just one of them and I hope it inspires you to build your own. So starting off, we have the websites that we want to scrape, which is inserted up here, as well as the brand context. For my example, I have my audience is focused on AI, vibe coding, cursor AI, entrepreneurship. So everything that I believe people would like to see in my newsletter. Then this is all interpreted by Firecall. Firecall goes over to that specific website and this website should ideally be a website just like this in the structure. An example of that is Versal. You shouldn't be scraping the main Versal website. You should ideally go for the blog because this is a page where all the posts will be in. And since for the majority of these posts, we have the information of title as well as the date, then we can grab that specific data, send it back to our newsletter generator and under understand which is the score that compares to the message that I placed in here. If that specific post resonates with my audience. So at this point, all we did is really grab these two websites, send it over to Firecall. Firecall sends us back their entire markdown at which we can take that markdown, send it over to an LLM and ask it, hey, based on this context, please separate the ones that are in this specific date range that we set right up here. And for those who already dominate Firecall, you'll understand that you could have done this with the extract feature because the extract feature does exactly this, but already all automated because you wouldn't have to send it over to the LLM and everything you could have just asked for that in the API fetch. But I wanna be completely transparent. And for this specific case, you can use a weaker LLM. So this will be much cheaper since all you're really doing is filtering out the posts that you want. All these posts will be listed over here at which it's at this point right here where I can choose which titles seem to be optimal. For this case, it evaluated a 10 out of 10 for seven best AI agent builders, an expert market breakdown. For this example, it seems like, wow, it actually is a pretty interesting thing that the audience might like to know, but it isn't worthy of a newsletter. So I can just delete this post. And at this point of the video, whoever is not interested in this might have already left. But if you stayed, probably you want to create your own app, but you've tried to do this and you didn't go all the way through. Then you come back to YouTube and people tell you that, hey, it's just as simple as typing something into the AI. This channel is all about guiding these solopreneurs that want to build something inside of their niche because there's a lot of potential to build things, especially now with all these AI tools, but you need to know how to use them. So for example, in this video, I use a lot of Firecrawl and there's a lot of different ways that I could have created this newsletter generator. Now the remote MCP support in Cloud Code Nude resonates much more and is much more worthy of being inside the newsletter. So let's leave it there. Now, OpenAI awarded 200 million US defense contract. Doesn't really seem to be something my audience would be interested in at. So the score is appropriate, a seven out of 10, and I don't even need to delete it. This will only consider and generate the newsletter once I hit structure. Because after I go through this human process of understanding all the news that are available and really organizing them to then have the final news that will be in the newsletter, then after I click that structure button, what I get is a summary of all of the 
these different news. And after I have that summary, now I can just click on generate newsletter, which will grab all this and create the newsletter in the style that I want. For my example, I have a newsletter generated like this. If you want to pause the video to read it through, it's really a style that I like to have for my newsletters. But if you want to have your own style, you can change that right over here. Just remember to ask it to build a structure that gives markdown language because that will just make it much better structure. Now, if you're in this video because you want to build better full stack applications using Faircall inside of Cursor, then always consider to use the API reference every time that you're specifying a specific endpoint over in Cursor. So for example, if you're building something using the scrape feature, then just click this copy page button up here and paste that inside of Cursor. If that's not working, open up the view mark view as markdown and you'll get the entire explanation of how that feature works. This will give a much better context over to Cursor to ensure that whatever you want built is actually built the way that Farcall specifies it in their documentation. This project took me 10 hours and 29 minutes of work, as you can see here in Waka time. And still on the topic of vibe coding out any project, I don't even think the problem is not knowing how to code because I don't remember a time in this project where I actually got inside of the code editor and started coding anything, but I did look through the code and understand what was built. Because yeah, you could potentially just talk to Cursor, like talk to any LLM and ask it to build whatever you want and just ask, hey, why is this not working? Or how did you do this or that? And it will kind of explain to you without you having to read through the code. But this will logically take you way longer. And I'd say like four times the time time that you would take or five times or even 10 times, depending on your technical background, it will be more expensive and you can fall in the trap where it will have so many codes, so much context in a single file that the AI will lose itself. Even if you start another instance, the AI won't find how it needs to change what it needs to change. So every time you ask for a new feature or to alter a feature, it will be creating an entirely new one and just making a mess of a code, which will get you nowhere. If this video helped you at all, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Till then.